Hello again, friends, and thank you for taking the time to watch these videos. I really do appreciate it. In this video, I really wanted to follow some of what I had talked about in the previous two videos, and that is uh, something that we would see in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and then 5, and that is, of course, the idea of the rapture and its connection to the day of the Lord. Now, one of the things I wanted to discuss in this video is my appreciation for pre-tribulational theology. As I said in my personal introduction video, I grew up with a pre-trib background. I went to a Bible college that taught it. I went to a seminary that taught it. The vast majority of my favorite Bible teachers have been pre-tribulational. And there is a major point of theology that they get right, and that is God is not going to pour out his wrath on his church. It must be understood that God has not appointed us to wrath. And so the pre-tribulationalists, the reason why they come to that conclusion about the rapture before the tribulation is because they associate the tribulation, again, the seven-year period in the future, with the day of the Lord. In other words, they make them one and the same. Therefore, the rapture has to be before the tribulation. Now, a word about that. Post-tribulationalists believe that the church is going to go through the tribulation and there's actually something true about what they say. And that is, they appeal to a passage in John 17. And let me just read this real quick. This is Jesus praying to the Father. And he says in verse 15, I am not praying that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. In other words, the post-tribulational teacher believes that the church goes through this tribulation, this day of the Lord, but is protected from it. And so both pre-trib and post-trib teachers hold to something that is true. Number one, the pre-trib teacher rightly teaches that the church will not endure or suffer the wrath of God. And with that, I stand with my pre-trib brothers and cheer that very sound biblical teaching. With my post-trib friends, they also get something right. And that is that God is not going to remove us from the tribulation. Instead, he is going to protect us from Satan and the day of the Lord. Okay, I want to emphasize, Satan cannot snatch you away from God. We will be protected from Satan. Now, that doesn't mean we couldn't be killed or that we couldn't face some consequence because of choices that we make, but that's true now. That's not only true in the tribulation. And so the pre-tribulationalists, again, and the post-tribulationalists both believe something that is true about the Christian and the rapture. Now, at the same time, they both believe something that is not true, and that is that the tribulation is the same thing as the day of the Lord. And see, there are passages when you look at them and you think, man, that really sounds like we are gone. We, the church that is, are gone before this all happens. And those are the verses that the pre-tribulationalist likes to point to. And then there's passages that it seem like, well, the church is really going to face great suffering. And in fact, it's only going to intensify. Paul warned that in the last days, things would get worse. Well, how would he know that 
if he thinks the church is going to be gone before there would be the heightened persecution against the church that will take place uh, during this tribulation time frame. And so both sides, again, take this view. It's a theological view. It's not a biblical view. You can't come up with a single passage that teaches that there is a seven-year tribulation and that it is the same thing as the day of the Lord. In fact, the day of the Lord has specific events that mark off the beginning of those events, and those events don't happen until after the great tribulation. Again, look at Jesus' teaching in Matthew 24. He said there would be birth pains or labor pains, and then there would be great tribulation, and then there would be the day of the Lord. And so the post-trib and the pre-trib, for the good parts of what they believe, let's celebrate and encourage them to continue their study. But on the elements of which they believe that are just not true, let's graciously show them from the scripture how Jesus divided up this last period of time just before his coming. And that is, he did not ever equate this generic or general tribulation with the day of the Lord. The great tribulation is going to be a time of tremendous persecution brought about by the workings of Satan and the Antichrist, specifically against the believers. The day of the Lord is going to take place after the great tribulation and will be a time of great distress against the Antichrist, those who side with the Antichrist, and those who reject God and will not repent of their sin. So we'll look at another video next time. But I wanted to express that there is appreciation to be had for our pre-trib and post-trib friends. Thank you.